Hey guys, in this video, we'll be doing a typewriter effect using vanilla JavaScript. You can find libraries about this effect, but that's not fun. So we'll do it using pure JavaScript. So this is what it is going to look like. So without wasting any further time, let's jump into CodePen to see how do we do this. So inside CodePen and inside HTML, we make a P element with an ID of typewriter. And we paste in some lorem ipsum here. So now since we are making a typewriter effect, so why not use a typewriter like font? This font is called Special Elite. You can find it on Google Fonts. And if I select this font from here and expand this and click on import, we can import this font inside our CSS. So let's copy this import thing. And inside in CSS here, import our font like this. Now we are style our P element. So we give it a padding of 2 rem, a font size of font size of 2 rem again, and letter spacing to be 0 0.1 rem. And we also need to provide in the font family so we can get our font family from here. Just copy this and we paste it here. Now our P element looks more like it is typed from a typewriter. So now inside our J, uh, JS, that is a JavaScript, we need to get this element. So we can say var typewriter is equal to document dot get element by ID. And our ID is typewriter. And one thing more, we assign a data text attribute to this uh, p tag. I'll tell you why I'm doing this. And we just cut this lorem ipsum from here or whatever text you want to put inside the p tag. And we paste it inside the data text here so that initially when the window loads, we do not have anything to display inside the p tag. Now what we can do, we can get this data text like this equal to typewriter dot get attribute and our attribute is data text and if you want to see we can console log it to see that we have got our data text and if we open the console from here we can see that this is the data text which is stored in this data text attribute inside the p tag so let's close our console and just remove this console log statement. Now we define our counter variable var count is equal to zero because we are going to loop through this length of the data text and var data text length is equal to data text dot length. And now we define a function called set text which will set the text inside the p tag var set text is equal to an arrow function you can use a normal function and inside here we use a set timeout function again inside here we are using an arrow function and our timeout will be 100 milliseconds and here we need to set the text inside the p tag with an id of typewriter so we can do it like this typewriter dot text content plus equals to data text dot character at count because initially the count is zero so it will be at the first character that is the L and then we increment the counter counter plus plus and now we check if the counter is less than or equal to data text length so if count is less than or equal to data text length if it is less than data text length we need to again call this function set text and one more line of code and your typewriter effect is done so what do we do window dot onload 
equal to an arrow function again and when the window is loaded we just call this function set text and voila this is done so if you like the video hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed till now do subscribe to my channel and if you want to support me then support me on patreon.com forward slash truly i'll provide the link in description below thank you bye bye tata take care